I'm just going to show you my setup real quick before we get started from me showing you the demo here. Um, I have this laptop uh, audio interface with the FTM100. It's going to be the receive side for the PSK31 web page. Um, on the transmit side, I have my desktop with the Balfang with the audio interface, uh, and this is going to be my, my transmit side. So what's going to happen is I'm going to transmit with the Balfang, and the FTM100 is going to pick it up and act as a um, audio modem for the PC that's going to decode it. And I'm going to actually record my screens here, so it's not going to look like this, but this is just giving you an idea of uh, what's going on. All right, so here we have on the left the transmit side of things, and we have on the right the receive side. The only difference is the transmit side within the folder of the file, it also has an HTML file called example.html. This file is relatively simple. Uh, when viewed in the browser, it just looks like this. It has some headers, a link, uh, also an email link, uh, it's different fonts. So this is the file we're going to be sending over the air. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is just open up the PSK31 file. Uh, right off the bat, we see this very ugly UI interface I've designed. Um, this is a very rough demo, so just bear that in mind. As well as the debug console that opened with it. The debug console will uh, read out the characters that are um, being sent out as on, on the buffer and also received. So we'll see whatever is getting sent on both. What we have in the uh, UI uh, is a couple blanks for the packet that we're going to form with PSK31. One being the call sign, the recipient's call sign, and the file name that we're going to transmit. The file name is a reference to, um, it's the same file that's in the current directory. So we want to transmit the example.html, so I'm going to go ahead and save info, and our transmit site is ready to go. All that has to happen is we have to hit TX file. So on the receive end, all that we have to really do is open the PSK31 uh, file, and it is automatically ready. By default, it's ready to receive. So all we have to do now is just go ahead and hit TX file, and you'll see the, uh, the buffer just go ahead and start reading out the characters that are being transmitted. So over here on the receive end, you're going to see uh, a better version of it because it's not being uh, covered up by the, um, the window there. But you'll see like a specific um, formulated um, string there at the top. Those characters that are separating the call sign, the recipient call sign, and the uh, file name are kind of like characters I put for that information so when the program reads it, it'll know what to do with the following information. Uh, so basically, it knows that after an asterisk and a caret, there's going to be a call sign. After a question mark percent sign caret, there's going to be the recipient's call sign. After the question mark dollar sign caret, there's going to be the file name. And after the question mark hashtag or pound symbol, Carrot, you're going to have the content. Now this shouldn't take way too long to send considering uh, it's pretty basic, uh, pretty basic web page. Uh, so it's actually transmitting over the Balfang right now and is receiving by the uh, FTM100 with a quick video here. So the web page is now wrapping up, and what we should see on the receive end is a confirmation that it received every element of the package, and the web page was saved. And as we can see here, uh, we now have a new file in the um, directory, and it should be the example page that we just saw on the... Uh, on the transmit end. And it looks like everything copied word for word except for we have a little extra wavy line down here. But all in all, um, it did a good job. It transferred the page um, and that's what we wanted it to do. So this is kind of like a rough um, 
a rough draft of the program, and I'm kind of putting it out there to see if anybody has any interest in maybe seeing the source code or developing it further. Uh, because honestly, even this much took a lot of time and thought. Uh, I'm in school and work at the same time, so I don't have a whole lot of time to be focusing on things like this. So I just want to see that there's some type of uh, interest before I pursue it further. And uh, if not, at least I can hand it off the source code to someone else who might want to develop it further. Anyways, if you guys like this video, uh, make sure to subscribe uh, and comment below what you think. Uh, if you have any suggestions and ideas, goodbye.